Hello everybody. Just wanted to show you the current setup at the hut right here. I have um, my um, coil-up extension unit, which I recommend getting if you don't have one yet. It coils up and stores there, and then you can bring it out. Currently, I'm hooked up to um, the car's inverter, the house system. So I'm generating um, 550 watts that I can use for whatever. So the car is running right now. And I'm currently um, charging my laptop, as you can see that by that light right there. And I'm um, cooking rice here at the um, hut. And with the rice, I plan on having some hot dogs again this morning, just eating my leftover hot dogs. So I've got the um, rocket stove here all set up. And all I need to do now is put my cooking grill on it and light a fire. So we're going to put this grill unit right here. I've leveled it off so it's nice now. And we'll just light the fire and let it go. As you can see, we started our fire and making a lot of smoke. I hope this doesn't attract the others. I'm making a lot of smoke. Way more smoke than I thought I would. Ooh. Reminds me of the scene Dances with Wolves. He's out there making fire. And the Indians spot him and come over and scalp him. You can see all this smoke just going up into the air here. If anyone's out there, which there are, the others and whatnot, they can certainly spot me now. Okay, the fire's on now and uh, the smoke is cutting down a little bit. I wonder if it's the wood that's in there. There's a lot of smoke coming out. fire is fully burning now. So we've got a nice fire here going. Get my pile of firewood here. And um, I'm going to be throwing our hot dogs on there shortly. I um, uh, cooked the hot dogs on um, the sticks, the roasting sticks last night. And must warn you that when the hot dog cooks, it tends to like split open and fall off the stick. So, cooking them on the stick, I guess it might depend on how you um, poke it through, but I poked it right through the center and, um, you know, like a lot lengthwise. And when it cooked, the hot dog split and fell open. Okay, it's probably ready for us to put the hot dogs on here. So, I'm just going to set them on the grill and use a fork to pull them on and off. While that's going on right now, I've got my um, rice cooking here on high and cooking. Um, I am leaving this rice cooker for anyone who comes here. You can leave it at the camp and use it to cook here, or if you need a rice cooker, you are welcome to take it. Matter of fact, anything from the camp that you need, you can take. But if you don't need something, um, you can leave it here for others to use. Um, what I'm seeing is I'm having a water shortage again, so I've used up all the um, water from the catchment system since I've been staying here almost all week. And um, my water reserves here I've been going through too, so I'm going to try to make a water run and stock up a whole bunch of water because that's going to be an issue. And also maybe set up some more water catchments because one isn't enough. So, um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and put the hot dogs on there before the fire burns out. So let's do that. So I uh, stepped away from the hot dogs just for a minute here to deal with getting plates and stuff, and look what happened. <laughs> My um, hot dog cooking skills leave a lot to be desired. Well, we're going to eat it anyways. Try not to eat the burnt part. I'll scrape that off or something, but um, hopefully the rice is cooked, and we'll go ahead and have a hot dog and rice for uh, breakfast. Well, our rice is still on cook, and you can see the steam coming out, so it's not fully cooked yet. The hot dog actually got done way faster than rice. So we're going to go ahead and let the um, rice keep cooking here, and meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and start up my computer here and watch a movie and charge up my phones and other electronic devices while I got the um, vehicle running and generating electricity. 
one of the good things about inverters. It turns your vehicle into a generator. Actually, the alternator is a generator, so you're generating 12 volt. But having an inverter turns your vehicle into a generator that can produce 120 volts, which is um, household appliances. And this laptop, this laptop actually I think requires 19 volts. But the adapter there, the Asus adapter that you see there, converts 120 to 19. So we're losing quite a bit of energy in all this conversion. We're converting from um, 12 volts up to 120 and then back down to 19 for the laptop. And uh, the rice cooker does use straight 120 or 110, whatever it is. So um, we're going to go ahead and um, start up our computer here and um, watch a movie. When the food's done, I'll go ahead and, and have um, breakfast here at the hut. Alrighty, my rice is now cooked as the cooker went to warm mode. So, it's time for Game of Thrones with rice and hot dog. Mmm. <laughs> this might not be the best breakfast in the world, but it is very cheap. Rice with hot dogs at the hut while watching a movie. And I think the hot dogs are probably like 50 cents for half a packet. Rice is about 25 cents. I did have to generate some electricity to cook it. But I'm also watching a movie with it. 